First up, though, Chief White House correspondent John Roberts on which way the wind may be blowing tonight when it comes to the Mueller Russian probe. Good evening, John. Brad, good evening to you. The president has said on several occasions that he would like to sit down for an interview with Robert Mueller. But the chances of that happening, according to people we've talked to, are rapidly approaching zero. Multiple sources tell Fox News that President Trump and his outside legal team are expected to say no to an interview with Robert Mueller. In a phone call to Fox News earlier today, attorney Rudy Giuliani certainly appeared to indicate that. I'm no on a sit down until, until we get... Uh, we get ironed out exactly what they want to do. Right now, I'm telling them, no way. We're not going to do it. President Trump has gotten markedly more personal in his criticism of the Mueller investigation, tweeting about Mueller's alleged conflicts of interest, including the fact that we had a very nasty and contentious business relationship. That appears to be a reference to a purported 2011 dispute over fees at the Trump golf course outside Washington. While the decision is not yet final and the president does have the ultimate say, sources familiar with the investigation tell Fox News the president's team does not believe Mueller has made a compelling case for an interview, that he has not proven only the president possesses the information he needs. The swirl of scandal around the genesis of the Russia investigation also helped seal the deal. Thank you very Thank much. You. At an East Room news conference with Italy's prime minister today, President Trump wasn't asked about the Mueller interview or the other hot topic of the day, his legal team's vilification of attorney Michael Cohen for taping a conversation with the president about a possible payoff to a Playboy model. There are innumerable other recordings of other people having nothing to do with the Trump with Trump, the Trump organization, which will give you an idea of what a, what, a, what a scoundrel he was. My opinion of him has turned on a dime when I found out he was a lawyer recording his client. Well, Fundamentally, that's a disbarable offense. But at the news conference, the president the way, did expand Italy. on his threat to shut down the government if Congress won't give him what he wants on immigration reform and $25 billion to build a wall along the southern border. I would be certainly willing to consider a shutdown if we don't get proper border security. I have no red line. The president was on friendly territory on the issue of immigration. Italy's prime minister has pledged to tighten his country's immigration laws. But avoiding the political fallout from a government shutdown may be a difficult maneuver for President Trump to accomplish. President Trump also surprised the nation today, a week after threatening Iran with consequences the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered. The president said he would be willing to sit down and talk with Iranian President Hassan Rouhani. I'll meet with anybody. I believe in meeting. Do you have preconditions for that meeting? No preconditions, no. They want to meet, I'll meet. Anytime they want. Anytime they want. It's good for the country, good for them, good for us, and good for the world. President Trump and Prime Minister Conte also agreed on the need to improve relations with Russia. Conte saying that Russia is involved in almost every crisis around the world. The two did part company, though, to some degree on sanctions. President Trump wanted to keep sanctions on Russia. Conte wanting to review them, but saying they will stay on for now. Brett? Good to have you back, John, on a soggy North Lawn tonight. Thanks.